Hey guys, uh, today's video is called 10 things that I would tell 16 year old me. Um, the first thing that I would tell uh, 16 year old me would be to save. Uh, years and years ago when I got my first job um, as a kitchen hand, my nana had said to me, put ten, $20 away, 10 or $20 and forget about it. Do it before you get your first paycheck so that you're not used to having it. And I remember thinking to myself, yep totally i'm gonna do that um and i did it so i had my first job when i was 14 so um i started off just casually and then um progressively just kept going from there in the kitchen for a few years and then moved on from there but if you think back all those years when i was 14 i'm 25 now i would have thousands and I could have probably been making interest on it, but what can you do? Uh, the second thing I would tell myself back then is to live more. Not to worry about all the little things that are going on that seem like they're massive. Go out, do things. Go on an adventure, explore. Just be a teenager. Stop trying to grow up so fast because time already goes fast. You don't need to rush. I mean... I remember thinking 25 year olds are so old and then here I am thinking oh my gosh where did 18 year old 15 year old even me go so that's number two uh number three would be get a good job so it's okay to have like jobs to just make money for a start but I wish I had listened to myself when I first wanted to apply for the um job that I'm actually in now um I wanted to work there when I was 15 um, and had I been there, I would have been there 10 years this year. So it's crazy to think what I originally wanted, I could have had if I had just actually applied for the job and stopped being like, oh, I'll get it another time or I'll get this Number job. Number four, say yes more. Um, I'm pretty sure if I think back, I was kind of like a yes one. I said yes to lots of things and going out and doing things but there was a lot more that I could off. I remember like sitting there second guessing myself oh should I go to this should I do that I should have just done it because you don't get that time back you're not going to be 15 16, five, spend time with loved ones so time as I've said just before you can't get back and I learned that when my papa passed away uh, he passed away in 2008, so it's actually just recently been his birthday just yesterday and um, the anniversary to his death as well, uh, not long before that. So it's been a long time since he passed away and prior to Pop passing away, i seen my nana and papa a bit, but I could have made an effort to see them a lot more. Um, I chose to hang out with my friends or chose to just not go for no reason other than I feel like I just didn't understand time. I didn't understand that they weren't going to be around forever. Thankfully my nana is still here now. Um, we have a fantastic relationship and I actually see her every week. Um, I take my children up there and I started that we tradition, I guess you could call it, um, not long after I had my daughter, just because I don't want her to have the regrets Number that I six. have. Your heart isn't broken. So I went through heaps of relationships. Sorry if anyone's watching. Um, where I thought that I loved them or I wanted to love them. And then I thought that they loved me and we'd split up and then... I would be so heartbroken that the world was over and I couldn't do it anymore and I needed to be with them when realistically, I'm not like laughing in a mean way, but realistically we were young and nine times out of ten the relationships that I had back in intermediate and high school were not going to last um, and I can't really think of many that have since then, maybe a handful if that or a couple I could count on my fingers. I'm not saying that it doesn't work for some people. Some people are high school sweethearts. But for me, that wasn't the case. Um, number seven, it will be okay. Um, I have gone through my fair share of ups and downs and 
road bumps in my life and my journey. Um, like many people, I'm not saying I'm any different or I've had more than others or less, but I've gone through a huge amount of things which cover a variety of um, issues. Number so eight. you're stronger than this. So also back then I wish that there was nights that I didn't cry myself to sleep because I thought that the world was over or that it was meant to be with somebody or that something just something didn't go right I just wish that I known that I was strong and I was okay and I was like going to be okay and feel good within myself years down the track Number nine, um, listen in school. I wish I'd listened a bit more, learned a bit more, tried a bit harder. I mean, school, I still feel to this day, all these years later, I did leave early. Um, I still feel school wasn't for me. Um, not because I was a rebel or anything like that. I just don't feel like it was the path that I was meant to follow. Um, I've learned enough from school to be able to get to where I am and I do and have done jobs that I learn or get trained in them uh, and plus there was things that I learned at school that I still haven't used to this day like algebra and I haven't done anything with Shakespeare so <clears throat> I don't know why they still teach that they probably need to re like rethink the curriculum and the stuff that they do at school because unless you're going to follow through with that stuff or unless we're going to like walk back like thousands and thousands of years Shakespeare isn't relevant to the modern world unfortunately sorry about it but he's not so um, yeah that's what I do feel though I could have listened a bit more and tried a bit harder but hey you can't go back um, and lastly number 10 live like there is no tomorrow you are not promised another day you're not promised another hour another minute you're not promised anything if you are sitting there just wondering what you should do for the day or just every single day living on your couch or playing your games or just doing stuff that you're not fulfilled with change it because you only have now you only have the time that you have at present, you can't, like I said, guarantee a week. You can't guarantee anything. So by living that you'll be on your deathbed, hopefully when you're elderly and you've lived a fantastic life, but you'll be on your deathbed and you can think to yourself, do I have any regrets? And you can say no, or maybe a couple, but there were things maybe that you couldn't change especially when you know life is short a hundred years if you're lucky to get there isn't a long time it's not ages and ages it's actually relatively a short time to be in such a massive massive world um but instead of getting too deep into that i'll leave that there um i hope you enjoyed my video today um it just gives you a little bit um, more information about me and things that I wished for myself and things that I try to install in my everyday life now um, if you want to keep seeing videos like this uh, you can subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on my social media accounts which will be linked down below and um, I look forward to sharing the next video with you um, and I hope that you found something inspiring or something interesting within this video. See ya!